And off you go. Yeah, guys, we're we're still going. We're still doing this. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, come back here. Come eat this thing. See you, bud. What the fish? Number three. Set it and he choked it. I don't know if you guys can see that hook. It's right down there. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Unreal Outdoors. Today, we are simply at the lake and we're trying to catch some bass. We might do a little bit of trophy fishing, throw on those giant swim baits because it is that beautiful fall time of year where those baits work. But nonetheless, we're here. We're already at the spots. Pops is getting ready. Let's go catch some bass. Woohoo! Heck yeah, guys. Woohoo! He choked a Senko. My Senko is now gone, okay? But he freaking choked that bad boy. Absolutely hammered it. Vulture baits VB scavenger. I casted it at this little little tree right here. And also my line started just I was like, oh, that's a fish. Set it and he choked it. I don't know if you guys can see that hook. It's right down there. Not in his gill plate, but he still choked that Senko. And my Senko's actually now gone, which is kind of weird because uh, I was using a Senko ring. See, see the little ring? But who freaking cares? He's choking it. First bass of the day. I literally just put the GoPro on. Just put the GoPro on. I was like, you know what? I'm going to take one more cast of this Senko before I change up. And he got to pick that cast. I have recording issues. Let's go. <laughs> okay, guys. Get this. So I'm throwing this crankbait, okay? And right after we caught a bass on that Senko, another one jumped. So I threw the crankbait at it, and we actually got bit. That is the first time there have been bit on one of these stinking crankbaits. We're finally getting the hang of it. I've been catching them on jerk baits, but so far the build cranks, you know, the deep diving crankbaits and the square bills, I just haven't been, I have not been producing on. So that one's like so exciting. It did get off though. But as I hooked it, turned the camera on, you know, to get it on video, the camera didn't have a battery in it. What the heck is up with that? Didn't even have a battery. Now we do. But I did re-rig another Senko. Like I put a ring on it. And my Senko is now missing. So uh we had another bass just jump right over there. And so I'm gonna see if we can get maybe that one to bite and actually land the fish this time. But I can tell you what, that was one of the most exciting moments in my bass fishing history. Ooh, another bass just jumped down there. Let's try just a steadier retrieve on this guy. Oh, that hit something. I don't know if I got tapped or if I hit structure or what. But also, there's a big rock bend in my rod. Cool, I'm gonna go find my Senko. I'm not giving up on this crank though. I've been afraid of crank paint. It's actually been bit by a fish. Ooh, I need to retie though desperately. Okay. If you were a Senko, where would I put you? Donde esta? Oh, Senko. 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 Monsieur Senko. How do you lose a worm? Huh. Seem to have completely lost. We shall make another Senko with a ring on it. Okay, so caught the one on the Senko, lost the one on the crankbait. Dad is still there going strong, throwing a jerkbait right now, and I think I'm going to take advantage of the fact that it's fall in that beautiful time of year. And I'm gonna keep throwing this big swim bait. Now, I have not caught anything yet on this big swim bait, but dreams come true, people. Okay, I have had a bass bite on a crankbait today. Frick yeah. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I got the freaking cover off, pop him in there, and then before we get started, I brought something along today. My lucky fishing hat. I'm gonna plop that guy on. Let's go get to bass fishing. 
today is gonna be the day, guys. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Okay, I've gotta get seated and hunker down because we're gonna be sitting here for a while. Whew. So, at this special time of year, um, when we are, you know, fishing these giant swim baits, you fish them like glacially slow, super, super slow. And this is called a wedge tail or a pulse tail. So it's not your normal big paddle tail. It's a very, very different type of tail. But you almost fish it like you'd fish a Texas rig, just dragging it across the bottom. So we're going to see if we can catch some big ones. I'll still be throwing cranks and stuff here throughout. And especially if I, like, I see any like... You know, tree or anything like that. I want to throw that weightless Senko into real quick. I'll do that, but as of right now, I'm going for a big fish. There you go. Get him in, Pops. Heck yeah, that's a fighter, dude. That on a little micro jig. Nice fish, Pops. It's probably one of the biggest fish we've caught in a while. Look at that head. Dude, he's the head of a lot bigger of a fish. I want to show him the camera real quick. Nice fish pops. Way to go. I'm still trophy bass fishing, guys. I'm still doing the grind on this one, bait. You know, because the fishing may not be fast. But if the bite does come and it's big, it's 100% going to be worth it. That's a fish. I thought so. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? I thought I felt some head shake at the beginning there, but I could be wrong because my hook's not displaced at all. Whew. Oh, that got me excited though, guys. I had a little dink, 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 dink. And if you guys can see, I'm literally reeling my reel at glacial slow. So slow on this thing. Big. That's a nice fish. That's a super skinny fish. That's a nice fish, dude. <laughs> I barely got that thing on video last minute. <laughs> yep, just you boat flipping it. Dude, Pops is killing it today, guys. That's two. He's on to two. That looks like a Lake Powell striper. That dude. thing is That's so sick. skinny. Holy crap. Wait, show him the gut real quick before we put it in. So there's the fish. Show him the gut. Starving bass. Holy crap. Oh, well, look at that. Dude, he's jacked up. What? He's got some weird deformity down there. His tail goes, see? Right there. He's got an indent on the side of his body. Right here? Yeah. yeah. Weird bass. Way to go, dude. You're... Oh, is that on the Sakoshi bug? Yeah. <laughs> Pops. Yes. I just converted him to that thing. Either way, we're still trophy fishing, guys. We are still trophy fishing. You don't want someone else again? Yeah. Come on, dude, you suck. <laughs> all small. Dang, Pops. Pops is annihilating me. Hey, if they're biting this aggressively in here, so that's four in a row now, theoretically, this swim bait should be able to get eaten, right? It's okay, I'm not going for numbers today. I'm going for just that one fish. Look at that. That is bass heaven, dude. <laughs> it's a giant down tree. Yo. This is it. This is where my dream comes true. I dreamt last night that I saw a big down tree. Okay, I said a sink going to it and caught a six pound bass. Do dreams come true? Better find out on Unreal Outdoors. Oh, I thought I had a fish on. It's just a snag. Okay. Quick little break from trophy fishing to cast a little finesse jig and stuff under that tree there. Okay. Oop. Ow. Super trophy. 
Come on, guys. We're all friends. Just work with me. Back to the grind. Back to the grind. Oh, that was way deeper than I wanted it to be. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna see how this one goes. Hmm, maybe that's the secret. Maybe that's the secret. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. We were just dancing right there, dude. That was kind of cool. Huh? I have no clue what you said, but I bet it was cool. They're mating. The ducks are mating. Hopefully the big bass are biting giant swim baits. Oh, dad's on with a fish. Another one. Oh yeah, that one is tiny, tiny. But good job, Pops, nonetheless, good job. Oh, nice. You gotta admit, it's very tempting to just set down the swim bait stuff and start catching some smaller bass, get some good numbers going and all that jazz, but. Really? Yeah. Dude, Pops is just. It was on my finger. I couldn't tuck the hook. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Pops is just slaying today. There you go. There you go, Dad. Oh, oh. Pops is over here catching tons of fish, and uh, yeah, guys, we're we're still going. We're still doing this. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, come back here. Come eat this thing. I don't have a sink on. That's the mm, fine. Okay, here's the thing. So, swim bait got in a snag, so the line's kind of nasty right now. But look at this. Look at this tire, and the things under there. That's like pitching heaven. There's gotta be something huge here, so I'm gonna put a Senko on. Dad's throwing a little, he's throwing that micro jig. Dad's throwing everything he's got. I'm gonna work up Senko. And, Cause guess what guys, guess what? Guess what I did later today, earlier today. I found my freaking Senko. So I'm gonna throw on a weightless Senko. And maybe, maybe skip it under there. That's what I'm thinking. Come here, buddy. How well can I skip a shanko? Yes. <laughs> Shall I attempt? That skipped. It did. I don't know why you're laughing, dude. Because you were as surprised as I was. Oh, that would have skipped. You just smacked the freaking concrete. Oh. Oh, come on. Get him? Yep, I got him. I got him. Little? Yeah, a little. Ooh. Little tyke. Little, little. Why do you do that? Why? Stop at. Okay, I'm gonna grab your face now. Don't do anything. Good fishy. Here's a good little fishy. Awesome. Cool. Uh, now I would just like it to get a, little, a lot bigger. Actually, not a little bit bigger, a lot bigger. I'm not even going to put him in the live well. I'm just going to 